it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my last ever Spooky Box Club unboxing. I'm so sad about it but that's life. So um, in my last Spooky Box Club unboxing I thought that was my last one so I gave a nice little message about how much I love the company blah 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 and then another one arrived so I was like oh shit wait <laughs> that wasn't the last one. So this I'm pretty sure is the last one. Um, it's really weird because my line is so big in the viewfinder my eyes look so weird so I'm hoping I look okay on camera I don't know but anyway I'm gonna shut up let's get on with the unboxing so um, when this arrived I said to Casey because we were on FaceTime what do you think it is so I opened it like not the full box just the packaging so I could see what the theme of the box was I was like Case what is it tell me what do you think she goes uh Mystic Meg. <laughs> um, the box is Witching Hour, so sorry Casey, it was so far off. Um, yeah, I'm super excited, it sounds spooky, so I'm definitely very intrigued. So let's get right into it. Oh, there's no things, papery noodle things, I don't know what are they called. I don't know, there's no tissue paper, so I'm kind of sad. Right. First thing's here, okay, that's a piece of paper explaining something, so I'm going to leave that. There's my card, which I'm not going to read until the end. So the first thing that's sticking out is huge. I'm going to open it. Oh, this is cute. If you guys remember from my last Spooky Box Club unboxing, um, I kept saying that like I get loads of all these really cute pins, but I don't really wear pins, so they're kind of just shoved in a box and I never see them, so I was going to try and find a way to... Rude. I was going to find a way to showcase my pins so that they're not wasted. And this is in the box, spooky pin collection, and then it's got a little moon and a little tassel and you can just hang it up. I may put it on my wall with all my weird stuff. So cute. Oh, I love it. I hope all my pins fit. I'm sure they will. That's such a cute idea. I feel like I can't even say they listen to their fans because I'm opening this and I haven't even uploaded the last video. I'm a bad YouTuber, I know. Punch me in the face. Okay, next thing. Ooh, it's a necklace in a little bag. Oh, the bag matches the same colour as the card. They are just so... They know what they're doing, don't they? So it's a cute necklace and the chain is kind of like a gunmetal silver and on the end is a teeny tiny planchette and it just says spooky box coat and then it's plain so you can hopefully see it there, it's got a really cute little planchette, spooky box coat and then it's plain on the other side and then obviously it's got a little eye bit so you can see through it. There should be a planchette right here on my wall next to my Ouija board but Pumpkin knocks it down and it's behind the sofa somewhere and I can't get it otherwise it'd be twinsies but not today sad times okay next thing is a lollipop and again the yellow kind of matches with all the other things can't smell that it has a flavour kind of just smells like you know standard like rocks that you buy when you go on holiday so that would be yummy I'm trying to avoid, there's like a really big bag but I don't want to open it because it's just too exciting so I'm just going to save it. So we have another thing in another pouch. Oh my god, okay, cute, cute, cute. Oh no, one of the things is tangled. Okay, there we go. So it's a, I think it's a short necklace, I don't think it's a choker. And it says the word spooky in like little letters and then there's a sun on one side and a moon on the other. So this is so cute, I don't know how I'm going to show you this, let me try and like... How cute is that? I'm in love! That's so adorable! So I'll definitely be wearing this in future videos and probably for the rest of my life. Love it. Okay. I'm still not opening that bag. Ooh. Okay, so we have a piece of paper here with a skull patch on it. So obviously you take the patch off and then you, I believe they're iron-on ones, you iron it on to whatever you desire. Again, I don't really wear the patches, but I mean, it's pretty cool as it is. I have a couple of patches I've got from Spooky Box Club 
and one I bought from Killstar, which is like a church on fire, which was just fucking sick. Um, so I need to figure out what I'm going to do with them because I don't really wear them on things. So I have to try and find a way to use them. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down below and I could do a DIY video because that's fun. Who doesn't love a good DIY? But yeah, super cute. I really like it. It's really detailed. Oh, and it's got a little moon on it. A little moon. Anything with a moon, I'm like, I have to have it. Okay. Next up, we have a another pin. This is a Victorian snake pin. I don't know what makes it Victorian. Maybe there's some kind of thing that I'm missing here, but like not missing as in like it's not here like oh god why can't i use words um maybe there's some kind of fact or superstition surrounding it that i'm not aware of um so if anyone knows anything to do with victorian snake pins please let me know maybe i'm just overthinking it but either way it's cute and it's going on my new pin collection thingy okay the last thing left in the box is the little bag so i can finally know what is in here um Again, the yellowy colour matches the card and everything else. So it is a spooky cleansing kit. Kit contains baby sage smudge stick, palo santo wood, crystal, purification salt, white candles and anointing oil. Protect, cleanse and purify yourself from unwanted negativity in your home. That is so cute. Okay, let me open this bad boy. Right, so the first thing... This must be the, what was it, Palo Santo? Palo Santo wood. Oh, this smells really good. Um, I don't know what you do with that, so I'll have to find that out. Next up, we have a smudge stick. Um, so that is for, you like, set it alight. Not like pure fire, but enough so you can smoke it. And then you can smudge around your home to release negative energy, negative spirits, anything like that. So that's really cool. I've never done this technique. I've heard about it, but I've never done it. So I'm quite excited to try that. Then we have the little white candles. So white candles are great in any spell. You can always substitute them for, say you need like an orange candle, you don't have one. You can always use white to substitute those because white is linked to the goddess. So white's always useful. Can never have enough white candles. Then we have, what did they say that was? Ah, purification salt. So this looks like the pink Himalayan salt. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, so you can use salt to place outside your home to stop negative energy coming in. You can pop your crystals in it to cleanse your crystals. You can use salt on your altar, in rituals. You can literally use salt for anything and everything. So it's really, really good to have. And I've never had pink Himalayan salt before, so I'm very happy about that. And then we've got a couple of bits in the bottom. We have a crystal, so it looks like clear quartz. And you can use that in spells, obviously. You can use it in this cleansing protection ritual thing. Um, clear quartz has a lot of um, properties that are really, really good in spells. And it's also a really good substitute um, for like a white crystal. And last but not least, we have the oil, which is just says anointing oil, so I'm not sure. Let me see. Kind of smells a bit lemony, but also reminds me of orange. It's a bit citrusy. So anointing oil, usually you would anoint the candles with it to add magical values so then there's a big a4 sheet of paper which tells you um it tells you about pretty much all the things i've just told you so sorry if you were waiting for a surprise um so yeah it just tells you the properties of the different um pieces in the kit what you can use them for that's really really cool i'm really excited to use these things i have no need at the moment um to cleanse my home so i'm going to be saving this kit until the need arises but i'm really excited to use it when the time comes so that is everything in this box again it was the ooh, the witching hour box so spooky box club will be linked below as always and you can always buy um, different individual pieces from the boxes on their shop 
So I think my favourite thing from this box was the spooky necklace. That is so adorable and I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of that. Um, oh, the card. I always forget to do the card. So we should have the custom made enamel pin display pennant. Ooh, pennant. Yes. The custom made Victorian style snake pin, custom made large skull patch, custom made witching hour necklace. Oh, so the spooky thing is just a witching hour necklace. Okay. Custom made planchette layering necklace, custom made spooky cleansing kit, and a handcrafted gourmet lollipop. So I got everything in the box and yeah, I'm so excited to put my pin collection together. I'll probably post a picture on my Instagram so you can see the collection of all the pins I've got going on. Yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.